Hey guys, uh, so let's talk about uh, winterizing your centipede lawn. Um, you hear that term out there, winterize, or you may see it on a bag of fertilizer. And what does that mean exactly? Well, um, it's really just a marketing term. Uh, it's no different than your standard bag of fertilizer. Uh, they really just market it to the consumer to buy a bag of fertilizer and throw down uh, your macronutrients, which is the NPK. Uh, nitrogen phosphorus potassium in the fall and the point of winterizing is to fertilize in the fall so it can store up those nutrients over the fall and winter and then use them as it needs them when the lawn greens up in spring. Um, that does not really apply to centipede grass. You do want to winterize your centipede grass but not the traditional way. You don't want to get a fertilizer that has a bunch of nitrogen in it and feed your centipede late in the year that's going to promote centipede decline uh, especially if you do that over time like every fall if you fertilize late in the year like September October uh, with the hope of using those nutrients in the spring that's going to increase your nitrogen over the course of the year and that's what can promote centipede decline centipede decline is kind of like a disease it's not really a disease but it's it's just a characteristic the centipede has that if you over fertilize centipede over the course of the year, uh, during the spring and summer, you'll just start to see these kind of dead patches develop in your centipede grass. And that's usually due to a number of factors. It, uh, it's really due to excessive nitrogen, um, not mowing at the right height. And so with that excess nitrogen, you can get some thatch problems and that can lead to centipede decline as well because centipedes are stolen only grass and if you if you're cutting the grass too high those runners have nowhere to tack down and you can get some thatch issues so those runners kind of cross uh, they have kind of a cross pattern and there's nowhere there's no soil for them to get to so it creates this thatch spongy layer and so that combination of excess nitrogen and not mowing at the right height and producing thatch problems that's going to give you centipede decline. I'll try to flash up a couple of pictures uh, as to what centipede decline looks like, but it kind of looks like a disease. Uh, the way you want to winterize centipede grass is really just with a potassium product. So granular potassium products are very difficult to find. You're not going to find those at Lowe's or Home Depot, typically. Uh, you really just need to buy those online, most likely, or you may be able to find a bag of sulfate of potassium at your local specialized garden shop. But even that's kind of difficult to find. I went to my local shop a couple of weeks ago asking for a bag of uh, SOP or sulfate of potash, uh, which is the preferred form of potassium if you're gonna throw some down, uh, it's less salty than the myriad. But they, they were out, they had sold out, and uh, I just said, well, I'll just go with the liquids this year. So I have kind of a dissolvable sulfate of potassium that you really just put like a tablespoon or two into a gallon of water and shake that up and it's highly dissolvable and then I'll put that in a used hose in sprayer that I've used before for another product and just spray that out over the lawn um, two or three times because the liquids you're not getting as much down as you would with the granular so you can go over your lawn a few times with the liquid and it won't hurt anything but the main thing you're looking for is this potassium only uh, so those three numbers on the fertilizer label, uh, it's the NPK numbers, you really just want that third number to have a number on it. The other two you want zero. So like a 0025 is a good product, a 0015, uh, but I'll link to a couple of products that I've used in the past that are really good. Um, but that's what you want to do in the, in the fall for centipede grass. And what that potassium is going to do is just it strengthens the cell walls of the plant. So centipede really sensitive to winter and like the harsh winter, tons of rain in the fall, uh, you know, any hard freezes that you might get, that potassium is going to strengthen the cell walls of the plant, of the grass. So it'll be prepared to deal with those kind of harsh conditions over the winter. I feel good about where this lawn is as far as having enough potassium to get it through the fall and winter. I've done uh, my fertilizer applications have had plenty of potassium in them throughout the year. 
in August, I fed the lawn a 4025. So it was a very low nitrogen content and of extremely high potassium content. So I got 25% sulfate of potash in that feeding in August. So uh, I think the lawn is prepared for the, uh, the cooler weather and uh, especially the winter. And so that's what I would advise for you guys to do. Just stay away from the nitrogen applications. A lot of those fall lawn foods out there have a ton of nitrogen in them. Like I think the Scott's product is like a 28010 or a, tw or a 32010 or something crazy like that. You don't want to feed that type of product to your centipede grass uh, late in the year. So hope that makes sense, guys. Just wanted to do a quick video on that since we are in uh, the fall. Today is October 26th, I believe. So uh, around October every year in my area is when you want to uh, start really hammering your yard with some potassium and just uh, building up that strength for the uh, harsh weather coming up, pre-emergent for the fall. I'll do a separate video on that. But thank you guys for watching. If you haven't liked and subscribed, uh, please do so. I'd appreciate it. Thanks. We'll talk soon. Bye-bye.